Alrighty, so I know I promised you guys two videos today. The issue is when I was watching the Dodgers Phillies game on the MLB YouTube channel. If you guys missed that, what are you guys doing? It was it was awesome to see. There were like 200,000 people watching it. Um, there was me and a couple other content creators in chat. There's going to be future games, so be on the lookout for that. But it took a little bit longer than anticipated, and I just don't have time to get two videos out today. So what I'm going to do is, rather than rush out two really, really bad videos, we're going to do one zero overall franchise today, and then tomorrow I got two videos for you guys. So I'm going to spend my night getting two videos ready for you guys. We're going to have a rebuild and maybe like a career sim or something else. So with that being said, we're going to have one today, two tomorrow, just to make up for the fact that you guys hit that 500 likes mark, which is amazing. And I can't thank you all enough. So with that being said, let's get into the zero overall franchise today. All right. So this is episode six. Now we're at the end of July. So that means we have a new player upgrade to look at so there's been a few players that got some good boosts a few players didn't really get any boosts at all and that's really disappointing so before we hop any further into this episode make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and as always let me know in the comment section let me know why this series is one of your favorites so if you guys missed last episode which you may have i accidentally uploaded it kind of late um so that's coming across the screen right now you guys are going to see it in the top right hand corner I, it was it was it was a pretty good episode. We played the Diamondbacks. Obviously, we didn't win because you guys can see in the bottom left hand corner, we are zero and 108. We are 74 and a half games back. But you know what? We still got some fighting spirit in us. So let's take a look at these upgrades. As you guys can see, not many pitchers um, got a good upgrade. Really, the only one that did was Benny Fernandez and Monty Ross. The thing is, some of our pitchers just aren't getting a lot of innings. Their strikeout numbers are low. These last two months have been pretty disappointing for pitcher upgrades in general. It was it was pretty tough. But when you look at the lineup, though, we definitely have some good improvements. You guys can see Felix Aguas is definitely improved. Um, Ernesto Crystal Ball, Fausto Reynal, Harmon, McFarland, Garfield Wallace, and Leo Perdomo. Leo Perdomo is low-key one of our better players. Um, he actually looks kind of decent. So he definitely is a player we could... Uh, you know, try to keep around for a little bit. Um, the big thing with him is his extra base hits. He's got eight doubles this year. That was a huge key to getting such a good boost. Um, Dixon Day struggled a little bit. Um, he's just not getting the at-bats compared to the other players. And Pierre Lafont on the bench is actually doing quite well. Um, good amount of hits, good amount of extra base hits, some RBIs. I think that's the key to getting him with his power stats. He's definitely helping out there. So that's the team as a whole um last episode i did mention we played the diamondbacks this episode i'm thinking we're gonna play the rays and we have one more um month after the season and then we definitely get into the the good stuff we get next year where we have our draft picks coming in to help us mostly pitchers um we do have a right fielder that we we could use um and a couple other guys that'll help us out throughout the throughout the rebuild i definitely want to somehow squeeze out a win and i think we can with those upgrades i definitely think we have the team to do it now um Maybe like a, a three to one or a th like a four to two victory or something like that. Nothing too crazy, but we definitely should be able to squeak out a win. So let's hop into this game against the Rays and see how things go. Already looking at the Rays, they have Kiermaier, Adamas, Pham, Meadows, Lau, Garcia, Zunino, Choi, and Diaz. Team's hitting pretty well. Zunino's a little low, but overall their team's looking pretty solid. When you look at who's on the mound for them, they have Ryan Yarborough, 11 and 10 on the year, 446 ERA. So I mean, it was, it was one of the better or favorable matchups for us. So that's why I took it. The other ones were like Chirinos, Blake Snell, and uh, Tyler Glass now. So this was this is one of our better matchups. So there's 62 and 66 on the year. We're going to be rocking a little bit of a, a custom uni setup. We have a BP hat. We got the black alternates. Um, and then I think a throwback pants so so far i mean i kind of like it i kind of like this uni combo quite a bit kirby de paula's 0 and 24 one start he has a no decision one start his whip is a pretty solid era 346 but um too bad that's not his era that's his whip um but let's let's get into the game here we started off with kevin kiermeyer on the mound or on the mound at the plate I don't have we started with the Paula maybe once um his wind up's a little funky um I mean the pitches haven't been bad though they've like all been around the zone 
pretty close to strikes. So, ooh, that was a good change up. Had him guessing there. So, as you guys can see, we're sitting full count now to Kiermaier. Definitely need this slider to hit the zone. We get a... Oh, what a way to start the game. A strikeout. Curvy to Paula came to play today. I'm sorry, what? What just happened? We're going to challenge that. I think he is safe. Um, why, why is our shortstop taking his sweet time throwing it over to first? I wasn't speaking because I thought that was an easy play. And it looks like, okay, we did, we get, we get the out. It's not, it, we should get the call in our favor, but um, I'm not liking how nonchalant, how casual Felix was at short. So, all right, we get the out. A little bit too, too far outside. That's all right. 2-2. Two, two. Little change up down low. And two strikeouts for Kirby DePaula. Are you kidding me? Who is this guy? And where has he been all season? Felix Aguas, did he just go deep first pitch? Takes it off the wall. Six speed. I don't think he's got this. Oh, he's got a double. Six speed was just enough. And those upgrades are already paying because we just let off the game with a first pitch double. He crushes that to left field off the wall. Just misses a home run by like what? Maybe a foot and a half, two feet. I mean, where has this team been all season? Oh man, we have an infield single too. What is going on with this team? I was watching it. I'm thinking maybe we should send him to third. Uh, maybe we should hold him at second. And then Yandy Diaz doesn't make the play. He takes that long stride. And now we have first and second with no outs. Oh, man. So we got two outs. Perdomo's up. We were early on the cutter. And unfortunately, we might squander that first and second no out situ situation. Which would suck. I mean, this would be the best way to start a game. We're not going to squander it. No, he makes the catch. Oh, I thought that had enough to get over G-Man at first. And we ruin our chance. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer. In um, okay. This is a drive out the straightaway right field. And it's oh, man. I thought that was a good pitch. I thought that was a good slider down and in. But Brandon Lau. Takes DePaula deep for the 18th home run of the season. 407 feet, 104 off the bat. And like I said, we wasted an opportunity to score. And uh, we could maybe had a tie game here instead of down one. Let's take a look. I mean, that's that's not a terrible pitch. That's a base hit for Mike Zunino. Oh, we had him full count. I thought maybe the curve. Would be enough to get the out. Now we have to face G-Man Choi with two outs. Not the best of matchups here. I thought maybe the curve had him. But he sat on sat on top of it late. Okay. Uh, that's unfortunate to see. That's a good strike though. Nice little outside part of the zone. That's going to get over the head. We just got to make sure that Zunino does not score. 28 speed. Going to second. We're not going to get him out there. Mm, second and third now. Getting a little dicey here. Alright. And he's gonna take second. Oh, man, I probably should have hit the cutoff. That's that's a mental mistake, but two nothing now. Back to the top of the lineup. We're facing a little bit of a 
a little bit of a jam here. We Okay. Damage. Damage control. We get out of the inning. Two runs do score. One thanks to the home run from Brandon Lau. And then G... No. Yandy Diaz with the single. And he extends it to uh, second base on the throw. So we got Langdon to lead us off. I mean, our half of the inning was good last inning. We just couldn't... Just couldn't capitalize. All right, we got a full count to start the inning. Langdon can get us on base. It's going to be an out. It's decent contact, though. So these upgrades are really helping us. We're getting some good hits. We're putting the ball, you know, the bat on the ball, showing a little bit of power. So hopefully we can start getting some of these uh, these hits to drop. He's just expanded the zone entirely too much in these situations. Base hit from McFarland. It's gonna squeeze through six feet on first. That's like that's like Usain Bolt on first for us. So we got a single. It's good. We only got one out. We should have I wanna say Dixon Day. Yeah, Dixon Day is our DH because we took Harmon out because he was just too tired. We have Wallace up after him. So as long as there's not a double play here, we're good. And it's looking like that's what it's going to be. Dixon Day is probably not the guy we want to use as often. He just doesn't have the hitting stats compared to everybody else. But Harmon was just a little bit too tired. Come on, Frenchie. Uh, you're not going to get to it. That's all right. Throw it in. Keep him to a single. That's all right. I mean, it's, a, it's an inside-out hit. It's a trash hit. I know it's going to say late week or whatever. Yeah, very late. Okay, man, that sucks to give up. Two-one count to Fam. We got Adamus at at first. This might score Adamus. Got to be careful here. Are they gonna try to send him? They're they're not. So second and third, no outs. Man, I was thinking, hey, we started off this game so well. We had first and second, no outs. And now we're, we're in a tricky spot here. <laughs> we get a call. Did we get a call there? We don't get the call there. We walk the bases loaded, no outs, with Brandon Lau up, who took us deep. Ooh, this is a tricky spot. We went back to the slider, which he took deep last time so apparently that's not a strike which I mean it wasn't I'll give him that Victor Victor I need you to start running here come on come up throwing they're not gonna send him home which is good so we got one out double play you know we had to force it any base the double play is right there who could we get out of this curveball not bad not bad Not a bad fastball either, but we need a strike here. This is where it's getting a little dangerous. That's a good spot. That's a good spot. Okay. I like that. Slider. Come up throwing. All right. Well, he makes the catch. I'll take that. At least it didn't get by him. A run is going to score, unfortunately. Just couldn't keep his balance. And they're going to bring in a third. So runners at the corners with Zunino up. And he has no confidence, which I don't understand. He's gotten the last two batters out. And we get him swinging with the slider. That's four four strikeouts, three strikeouts for DePaula. He had a he had a decent game. What three innings, three uh, three runs? I'll take that. That's not a bad outing for our starters at all. A good amount of strikeouts for our starter. All right, so back to the top of the lineup. Felix Aguas is up, who started the game with a double for us. And just got under that one. Just missed on that one. That one's unfortunate because it was actually a decent pitch to hit. All righty, so we're going to go to the lefty, Frankie Infante. Um, they, they have a couple lefties coming up, so I felt like it's, it's the better matchup for us, even though I don't think we really have any favorable matchups, but we'll take it. I think that's going to get down. It is, so it's going to be another double for G-Man. Man, G-Man's proven to be a problem for us. G-Man Choi. Who would have thought G-Man Choi is going to be a problem for us? Oh, we get a strikeout. I think our pitchers are going for a record in a game for strikeouts today because even though we're down 3-0, I'm liking what I'm seeing. 
A lot of strikeouts, a lot of swing and misses. Um, I really shouldn't be throwing the slurve because every time Infante throws the slurve, he gets wrecked. But that's okay. Like I say, what did I just say? Every time he throws the slurve, it ends up being a base hit, which is a disappointment because it should be one of his better pitches. Oh, uh, that's fair? Oh my, I literally almost freaked out. I was like, there was no way that was fair. It curved fair, but there was no way that it started fair. And unfortunately, we give up a walk. So we're going to go to our bullpen. We're going to go to Creed Hooper, who's got the knuckleball. So uh, let's see how this works out for us. That's a good spot for it. It is going to get in a run, though. Unfortunately, it will. 28 speeds, just a little bit too quick. Maybe if they had, like, two speed, we had a chance. But it's a four-run game. You know, unfortunately, we're, we're struggling allowing runs. Uh, we are swinging a hot bat. Oh, come on. Uh, I think that's going to be hit just a little bit too hard or too softly. Yeah, there's the fifth run of the inning. Man. Oh, painting corners with the knuckle, are we? So we need one more strike here. Let's get it. Come on. Fastball, and there we go. Another strikeout this inning. Unfortunately, two runs do cross the plate. So five through four. And it sucks because I think we're actually we're pitching quite well. I think we're hitting well. It's just we're not capitalizing on our base runners. And they're still they're just hitting the ball where we're not. They're literally just finding the the gaps. The more for some reason Perdomo's becoming a player that I'm liking. And Langdon goes down swinging that was a three pitch uh inning by the way that was disappointing oh just out of reach of felix aguas i'm talking millimeters away i thought maybe he had the play like zunino's not the quickest either so i thought maybe just maybe we had a chance there and we're gonna see if we can get this slurve down in a way it's not too it's not far enough away but langdon makes the play tosses it over to first and a shutout inning for the first time in the game. Dixon Day, get up the middle. Come on. Adamas has got the range to get to it. I don't think it was hit that hard either. And I know Dixon Day was sprinting down the line. He was he was hustling. He was sprinting. And unfortunately, it just, it just looks like a toddler is running out there. They're just not quick at all. Oh, come on, Garfield, Wallace, make the play. Kiermaier's quick. You got to get to first. There we go. We get the out. Creed Hooper getting off the mound, making the play. It results in a foul ball. We're going to the slurve, down and away, and we get him swinging. Creed Hooper with the slurve. Oh, making it nasty there. That was nice. That worked against Adamas. The slurve hit right at Wallace, and we get out of the inning. One, two, three. I mean, Creed Hooper, he, he struggled a little bit that first inning he came in. But since then, he's really, really found his rhythm. And that's another shutout inning. Oh, I mean, that's good contact. But again, just right at the center fielder. I feel like every time we've hit the ball, it's just been right at somebody. 1-2 count. We're going we're gonna to try that low outside knuckleball that Hooper is just so good at it hangs a little bit too much it's gonna drop and as I said he's gonna be done after a base runner we're gonna take him out we're gonna go to somebody in our bullpen and I forgot who we had warming up I know Monty Ross is one of them and I think Lalo Fuentes is the other one yeah so let's go to the righty we're gonna go to Lalo um, he was the one that had the crazy ERA at the beginning of the year I think it was like 136 or something so luckily he's kind of gotten a little bit better right he's not he's not as bad that's a good two seam right there on the corner Ooh, that's a nice pitch sweeping curve hangs a little bit that's getting out in a hurry there's no way we're getting back to it that's off the top of the wall avisel garcia the curve just hung too much for him and i'm talking about lalo fuentes high era and it comes back to bite us seven nothing it's just not good Let's see if we get him with the, the two seam low and away. Not low and away, but Garfield Wallace is there. Not too sure where he started to run. Maybe he forgot he had to step on first. But 
we get out of the inning and I mean two runs in the last what four innings I think that's a pretty solid outing for our relief you know our bullpen our relief core two seam inside we're looking at what two two now three two three two count curveball we're feeling ah we're feeling good unfortunately you know it's it's just a little too low so it's ball four Kiermaier looks at strike one that's nice that's nice let's get this cutter inside wasn't inside but he was late on it so we're sitting oh two Kiermaier's got some speed so turning a double play is going to be difficult especially when they rope it to center like that can Victor Victor make the play he does in center he's got that range just miss with the two seam that's 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 tough that's tough right there he definitely has some pop off the bat luckily for us he doesn't swing at that pitch because that pitch should have been crushed we're going back to the two seam and as I say that he's gonna get a hold of that one this one might be two runs I need you to keep running come on they're gonna send him do we got a chance ah uh, we might ah uh, it's just a little just that arm strength isn't there that's a two-run double for Austin Meadows. I got to see the location on this one because, I'm, yeah, it's not it's not the best location. It wasn't the worst. And then we're not getting those calls. Blue, what are you doing? Another one. Back-to-back -back strikes not given. Oh, man. We're going to walk him. Four-pitch walk. Alrighty, Monty Ross has been in the bullpen, bullpen for quite some time. We're going to go to him. I know it's not the best matchup, lefty-righty. Avisail Garcia definitely hits righties better, or lefties better. But we don't really, oh, man, this sucks. This is going to get at least one in. Come up throwing. He's not going to go for two. Corners with two outs. It is ten runs to nothing. You know, we, we, what, had five innings where it was 5 nothing, and it just, it's kind of fallen apart since then, which sucks. But this should be the third out. Steps on second. For some reason, tosses it over to first. Maybe he thought there was only one out, but that mid-eighth inning going into the bottom half, it's, it's gotten out of hand. And that's going to be a ground out to second baseman. A very quick inning for us. Just can't get the bats going. They've really died since that, that first and second inning. Alrighty, the destroyer of the or the zero overall Orioles right now, G-Man Choi. Monty Ross is starting it off with a nice little sinker down low. We're going to hit him with the slurve. Back-to-back -back strikes. All right, so we're going to hit him with a curve now. Throwing him with all types of breaking pitches. It doesn't get the call there, though. So, all right. Still sitting one two. That's a good good little count for us. Thought maybe we could get the fastball by him, just couldn't. So we're gonna go back to the slurve. I feel like this is his pitch. Just misses, just misses. So we're sitting two two. Sinker catches too much of the zone, and G Man Choi is really killing us today. He is three doubles for G Man Choi. Oh man. Um. So we're going to go four seam up and in and another strikeout for this pitching staff. I think that's really like the 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 MVP of the game. like Or not the MVP of the game, but like the stat of the game. The strikeout number. I think this is a, a record for us. I need to check. I think we're at like five or six for the game. It's been pretty solid. All right, Slurve gets gets down. It does get down for a base hit. They're not going to send him. So we got runners on the corners. Tommy Pham is up versus Monty Ross. I don't really know if I want to do that. The thing is, the only other person we have hitting is or pitching is a lefty. But we're going to do it anyways. We're going to go crazy with it and see how it goes. So we're going to start him with a fastball up and in. Oh, he, he thought about it. So let's see if we get him here. Oh, come on. Oh, he makes it. Okay, I thought he was going to let it drop. I thought it was going to be a ground ball. But he catches it before it hits the ground. Makes makes the catch. It's a line out. So, bottom half of the inning. We got a big a big gap to close. Like, just, we got a big gap to close. Ten runs. All right, 0-1 count here. Come on. There, um, uh, huh? Did I, was the PCI that low? 
I know it was a cutter, and for some reason cutters just seem so slow in this game, but I don't think the PCI was that low. Come on, LaFont, you're our last chance. That time it was. That time it was. I'll get it. So three pop-ups, three disappointing at-bats to finish the game. And once again, you're lovable losers. The zero overall franchise, the zero overall Orioles go down 10 to nothing. And it sucks because I thought we had a really solid start. You know, that we started off so well. You know, Kirby DePaula was getting strikeouts. I need to see the box score. Come on. How many strikeouts did we have? Seven? We had seven strikeouts. Like, ah, oh man, that the pitching went so well. I thought maybe this was the game. We started off hot first and second, no outs. When we started hitting, you know, first couple innings, we were getting base runners. And unfortunately, the, it just, just couldn't hold up. It just couldn't hold up. We really died that fourth, fifth. Just basically from the third inning on, we just, we just couldn't get the bat going, um, which sucks. Um, I thought the pitching staff, the what four, fifth, fourth, fifth, and sixth inning were pretty solid. Um, Creed Hooper really delivered a solid outing. Kirby DePaula, I thought was very solid as well. But it, we, you know what? We just lost once again. So hopefully we could squeak out a win in our next episode, the season one finale. We'll have to see how things go. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And as always, in the comment section, let me know why this is your favorite series. I want to know why. I really do. Um, other than that, guys, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.